Always finding out about my family late. You know, I was adopted. I didn't find out until I was 18. My 18th birthday, can you imagine that? I went through my whole school defending myself. You know, oh, you're adopted. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, you're adopted. No, I'm not. Well, you don't look Chinese. <laughs> Found out on my 18th birthday. My parents were just waiting for Hallmark to come out with an appropriate card. That was it. <laughs> Even then, I had to follow the clues. I had a badge with the word son in inverted commas. <laughs> 18 today, brackets, we reckon. I was brought up in the country, you know, I was brought up in the countryside, never leaves you. When you're a country boy, you never forget the stuff you learn in the country. And I got friends who've moved out, they think they're country people, but they're not, they're townies. They think they've got a farm because they've got a few hens. It's pathetic. <laughs> I went round there for lunch, and there was one of their chickens who was, was hobbling around. It was a manky thing, it was ill. You could see it was ill. <laughs> and I said, you've got to sort that thing out, you've got to, you, you've got to deal with that, because it's not, it's not nice to just leave it going like, oh, it's called a vet, it's got... No, if, listen, if you live in the country, you do it yourself. We don't know what to do. Listen, I was brought up in the country, the stuff never leaves you. Or would you mind? Yeah, I'll do it. So I took it down the bottom of the garden. Burnt it with a magnifying glass. <laughs> Pulled its wings off, threw it in a pond. <laughs> oh, they're so squeamish. You, know, you can't, you can't cut its head off, it still runs around. Not if you cut its feet off first. 